In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix muscle spasms in your lower back and hips. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, Dr. Rowe here at Spine Care in St. Joseph, Michigan. So if you're dealing with muscle knots or muscle spasms in the lower back, the glutes, the buttock, the hips, and need quick relief, this is a video that you're not going to want to miss. All of these stretches and exercises are safe, effective, and can be done at home. You might find that they give you pain relief and muscle knot relief in as little as 30 seconds. I'm going to be using two pieces of equipment, the first being a lacrosse or a racquetball, and the other a foam roller. Both of these can be bought at a local sporting goods department. They're very inexpensive. You can also get them online, such as at Amazon. With all of these exercises, I'm going to show two different methods. One that uses the uh, racquetball, the other one that uses the foam roller. So go with the one that you feel offers you the most amount of relief for getting rid of those muscle knots into the lower back and hips. So let's get started with them. So let's first target muscle knots in the lower back. What I'm going to do is lay flat on a floor like this and go next to a wall or a door. Let's put the hips, the knees, and the ankles at 90 degrees. I'm going to use my racquetball for this one. So whatever side that you're having a muscle knot, let's say it's on my right side in my lower back, I'm going to take that lacrosse ball and put it right over that muscle knot in the lower back. What you want to do is just allow your body weight to sit upon it for about 10 seconds. You're going to feel pressure building in there, kind of like a self-massage already starting. What I'd like to do at that point is whatever side that I have that muscle knot, take that side's knee and do just a quick knee to the chest. You're going to feel the lower back muscles start to tighten and build more pressure over that muscle knot. It's going to make it more intense also. So only go to your comfort level with this. If it feels like it's causing a lot of discomfort, just please discontinue at that point. But we want to hold this one for 15 seconds. You're just going to relax and then you're just going to repeat that up to five times. The next part, and this one right here, I think probably will work a little bit better. What I wanna do is take my hips and go into a circular motion with them. Almost think like you're doing a hula hoop motion. So I just kind of rock my lower back in a nice circular motion with this one. And you're just gonna go in there and really self massage that muscle knot out. Do this right here for about 15 seconds, take a little bit of a break, and then do it a couple more times. So when you do this, only go to the point where you feel that muscle not finally release. But I like doing this one because you can use an iPad, you can use your phone, you could read a book while doing it. But once you're done, just put it over a different spot, switch to the other side, and just target those muscle knots. It's a great way to be able to knock them out and fix it. When it comes to lower back foam rolling, one of the biggest mistakes I see is taking the foam roller and going directly over the lower back. You don't want to do that because it can put the lumbar spine into hyperextension, jamming it up and causing a lot of issues. Instead, what you want to do is focus on the muscles to the sides of the spine. So let's say that I have a lot of tightness and muscle knots on the right side of my lower back. What I'm going to do is just tilt my body towards that side and then I'm going to take the foam roller, put it over that, lift my butt up and then at that point you can just start to go over those muscles directly just like this, nice and slow, all the way down to the top of the glutes or to the buttock. And if you find a muscle knot that really is just bugging you, at that point, just go over it very, very slowly. But with this one right here, you're foam rolling the muscles. You're not going directly over the spine itself and you won't load and jam it up. So this one right here, what I'd like to do is once I find a muscle knot, I go over it very slowly, just slowly rock up and down for about 10 to 15 seconds, take a little bit of a breather, and then you're just going to do that up to five times. And you can repeat this process all the way up and down the lower back to the top of the buttock or the glutes, or just switch to the other side. So for the next part, we're going to focus on the very low, low back and the top of the glutes or the buttocks. So let's say that you have a lot of muscle knots and a lot of muscle tightness right here kind of around the belt line, maybe a little bit lower. I'm going to be positioning the ball up and down the glute right through here. So let's lay on the side that you're having that muscle knot. You're just gonna lay completely on your side, just like this. Position the ball right over that muscle knot and then roll upon it. So my muscle 
not right there on my left side, is right about at the top of the glute or the buttock. Take the hand that's closest to the floor right here and just stabilize yourself at the elbow at 90 degrees. Put your arms out, <laughs> your legs outstretched just like this. The bottom leg, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this one up towards the chest while the other one goes straight just like that. You're going to feel pressure being built into the glute already over the ball itself. This is how we're going to really target it. I'm going to take my hand on the opposite side. I'm going to grab below the knee and I'm going to bring that knee up like this. I'm rotating my left knee towards my right side. This right here really gets that glute to fire and tighten up and you're able just to control how much pressure you're going to be putting uh, from the racquetball into that muscle. Hold this one for about 15 seconds, relax, and then repeat this one up to five times or until you feel that muscle knot start to release. If you feel like you need a little bit more of an intense one, you can actually lift the leg up completely like this and allow the muscle to completely fire. This one right here is a little bit more advanced. So you just kind of lift it up straight up like this instead of trying to keep the heel on the floor like that. So give those ones a try. Those ones work really well for glute muscle spasms. So the foam roller method is also another good way to get rid of muscle knots over the lower, lower portion of the lower back and into the glutes or buttock. Whatever side that I'm having a lot of muscle spasming or muscle tightness, what I want to do is take that side's leg and put it over the other just like this, kind of like you're lounging almost. This creates what is known as a figure four stretch. It's really going to help stretch the glute, also the piriformis. And as another note, if you are dealing with piriformis syndrome, I don't recommend this exercise because it can actually put more pressure into that muscle, causing more irritation possibly onto the sciatic nerve. So if you start to get any symptoms going down the leg that mimic piriformis syndrome, please discontinue this immediately. So getting back to this exercise, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just put my arms back just like this, and I'm going to just put my weight onto that side's um, glute or buttock. And then I'm just going to rock back and forth with the foam roller from the lower portion of the lower back all the way down to the butt bone. And what I'm gonna do is just go over those muscle spots. Once I find the one that feels very tight, I just simply rock on it very slowly for up to 15 seconds. Just take a little bit of a breather and then do that up to three to five times or until you feel that muscle knot start to relax. And then you can just simply switch to the other side or just go over different spots as needed. So for this next part, we're going to focus more on muscle knots and muscle spasms in the soft tissue around the hip joint. So let's start flat on our back with our knees bent just like this. Let's take our racquetball and place it over the hip where you're having a lot of muscle knots. What I'm going to do then is I'm going to bring that side's knee up towards the chest like this, and then I'm going to then roll over the ball until my lower leg makes contact completely with the floor. Let's take the other leg and go completely flat with the foot like this to help stabilize us during this exercise. The bottom arm is going to be outreached just like this for more stabilization. So with this knee bent, what I'm going to do is I'm going to then start to straighten it as much as I'm able to go. If you're having a lot of soreness due to those muscle knots in the hip, you're going to really feel this. So once that leg is completely straight, try to hold this for up to 10 seconds. This is the second part that's going to make it even more intense for those muscle spasms. While the leg is straight, just simply lift it up, or I should say the leg up towards the ceiling as far as you're able to go. This should really put a lot of pressure into that muscle knot and hopefully give you a very good self-release or self-massage. Hold this one for 15 seconds. You're just going to relax. You're then going to bring that side's knee up towards the chest into the starting position, take a little bit of a breather, and then just simply repeat this as many times as needed usually up to about five times before you feel that muscle knot really start to relax. And then you can just reposition it over a new spot or switch to the other side. So this is how we're going to fix muscle knots and muscle spasms around the hip with a foam roller. Go to the side that you are looking to target those muscle knots. So what I'm going to do is place my foam roller right over the muscle and soft tissue of the hip 
And then from there, I'm kind of in a nice plank position. So my arm right here has been at 90 degrees supporting my upper body while my feet are together and my body is kind of in a nice straight line. What I do is I just bend the top leg like this just for a little bit of stability while the bottom leg stays straight. Use your foot on the bottom leg and also the arm right here to just slowly roll up and down the muscle and soft tissue around the hip. You're going to find a spot that's just really, really tender with that muscle spasm. So that's the one that you really want to focus on. Just go up and down it very, very slowly for about 15 seconds. Take a little bit of a breather and then do this up to three to five times or until you feel that muscle spasm really start to go away. And then just reposition it or switch to the other side. It's a great way to really target those muscle knots. So if you liked the video and got a lot of relief, please show us your support by giving this video a like and maybe subscribing to our channel too. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching.